Hello everyone, welcome back to the asynchronous programming in .NET. In this video, we will discuss how to handle the exception which comes in the C Sharp asynchronous programming. So let's understand it like how we can manage all these things. So basically all these things like we know in the C Sharp, we handle the exception using the try catch block. So how we manage all those things that we are going to discuss in this video so generally this is the method like currently when i run this application so what we are doing we created a method which is performing some operation now while performing this operation like we will uh, think like it is giving some exception and through that how we can handle those exception that we are going to discuss in this video so now currently when i click on this button one first button click started and then call process finished and then button operation is completed so this is the way we have make it as a asynchronous programming now think while processing this it is throwing one exception so for an example let's write throw new exception and here we can give my exception so this message i am given now simply if I will run at point of this time and I perform this operation what will happen it will give the runtime exception to us and we can see and currently like we are not capturing this one we are not handling this exception so we have to handle it and for handling this exception what we do we use the try catch block so now we will put this code inside the try catch. and here exception dot ex now for an example if this error i want to put it inside this list box so we have seen in the previous videos also like at point of this time when i will run this application so let's make it exception dot message so first of all it is giving this error and the reason is this is a non-static field so first what we have to do let's get rid of from the static method that's the first thing now next thing like when i will run this application at point of this time so what will happen it will give us one exception again and that is like cross threader application because this list box one it is on the different thread and we know that so how we can handle this one so first of all like as per your application you can manage it as per your uh, requirement like where you want to store this exception but in my case if we will add it in this so what we have to do we have to invoke it in this list box so that we have seen while we were discussing on the asynchronous programming pattern like if there is any cross thread operation is happening in in the dotnet application so how we manage that thing so for that one what we have to do we have to make little changes inside this one and here what i have done i have list box like this list box i have invoked using the method invoker and then i am adding to this one so now when i will run this application so what will happen it will properly maintain our exception and through that one what we can do we can handle our exception which is throwing from the asynchronous program and we can see the output is coming as expected and we can see so this is the way we can handle exception handling in the asynchronous programming and that is we are doing using the try catch block so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you